what would you think was the first item that we actually sold to the first customer that actually walked through the door at a coffee house? You would expect coffee. But no, it was a hot chocolate. <laughs> What's up, friends? We are back. We are in the heart of Chilton. I am here at Terra Verde Coffee House. I'm here with the owners, Marco and Missy. And when they started in 2007, there wasn't a latte to be seen for miles, and they've been going strong ever since. Here's their story. So we started the coffee house in August of 2007. So we come from New Orleans, or Louisiana. My wife's originally from New Orleans, and I come from Honduras. Um, came up to the States to, to, to college, to study. I came to Wisconsin uh, to work in the dairy industry, actually, uh, as a dairy consultant. Um, that's how we ended up in Chilton, because my wife is a teacher, and so she got a job here in Chilton. We got here to Chilton, and we really couldn't find her. That higher-end specialty coffee uh, you could only find in, in the valley or in Green Bay, you had to travel to go. And it just told, so happened that um, I was dropping off my kids at the daycare that morning as I was leaving to go do my um, dairy appointments. And I dropped off my kids and here was one of the daycare teachers uh, sipping on a, on a latte. And I asked her where she get that. Because I was like, I want one. And she's like, oh, I drove 10 miles outside to go get it. And I was like, really? You drove 10 miles one way and 10 miles back to come and get coffee? And she's like, oh, yeah, we do it at least two or three times a week. That very same day, I canceled all my appointments and I started looking for a spot. Because I thought to myself, if there's people that are willing to drive 10 miles to go get a cup of coffee, I'm pretty sure they're going to come within the city to come and get one. So we actually did not start roasting coffee, which was, um, it was always intended on our business plan, but we didn't start roasting the coffee right away. We actually started selling and using coffee from other local roasters. Um, and eventually we wanted to have a very specific kind of roast that we had been learning through our you know coffee educations and none of the roasters were willing to uh, work with us in order to achieve that very specific kind of roast and so i took under the wing of a master roaster down in um, madison and and started learning the whole process of the roasting to become a master roaster. So as part of our mission as a, as to be a socially, environmentally, and economically viable company, that has to start with the places where we're sourcing our coffees. And not only the coffee, but everything that we use here in the store. Uh, we use everyone local and we only stretch out as much as Green Bay or Milwaukee but everything that we use in the coffee house comes from you know pretty much 50 miles around uh, except for the coffee. The coffee obviously there's no coffee being grown in, the, in Wisconsin so we have to bring it from all over the world and that's where it becomes really tricky because we have to make sure that every single one of the coffee sources or partners that we like to call them uh, follow and have the same uh, goals that we have as a company. Um, the greatest example is uh, Commucab, the co-op in Honduras, uh, which came to be to us um, by kind of like by chance. But when we started working with them, um, we immediately saw that they have the environmental impact they are 100% organic. Not only that, but they make their own 
organic fertilizer that they sell to the community so that the community is also using natural fertilizers. They have a huge impact in reforestation of the area where they are at. Uh, socially, they take care of um, uh, victims of domestic uh, abuse, women. And, and economically, they um, help these women by providing them a job source that they create through coffee and aloe industries and honey industries um, and other um, micro industries that help these women become better by themselves. Um, and just like Camp, all of the coffees from all over the world when we bring all the way from Papua New Guinea to Ethiopia to Mexico to South America, their goals are aligned with ours as best as possible. What we had always wanted to achieve as a goal with our little company is to people to think of Terra Verde as a community, not necessarily just a brick and mortar door that opens up and closes as customers come in and out, but a place where people can come and gather, socialize, interact, feel free to be themselves, to be part of the community. And, you know, we're providing good coffee, good high quality coffee. Every single coffee that we bring is 100% organic, is very special because there are not many of them. Um, every coffee has a mission behind it mission that is environmentally, economically, and socially responsible to the areas where they're growing their coffee. So we want to bring all of that from the world into this little microcosm, this little ecosystem that we want to create called Terra Verde. Uh, most importantly, we want people to come in, experience everything, taste all the coffees. There's usually five to six coffees that you can just taste them. You don't have to buy it. Just come, try it out, taste it, see which one you like. That way you can take home if you'd like the one that you've already tasted that you liked. Take all inhibitions off and just come in, experience, tell us what you want, and we'll try to help you with it. So there you have it, Terra Verde in Shilton. They got breakfast, bakery, delicious coffee, lunches, really is a nice, cozy, quaint community spot. If you're coming through Chilton or you're on your way up to Door County, you definitely want to stop in. Uh, and really, in my opinion, the place that makes this so special is their approach to their coffee. They really care about where their coffee's coming from, how it tastes, and how you interact with it as a consumer. Pretty cool to see. Uh, a coffee shop like this that roasts their own in a place like Chilton. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Evan Frymuth with Venture Wisconsin. Get out there and make the most of your day. The greatest adventure still lies ahead.